so till now we have configured on our interface as well and we have configured the process model as well uh, for our uh, travel reimbursement application now we are going to create a site so to create a site first of all we will create two sites one site for the user where the user can go and fill the data that's it and another site we will create for the uh, HR as well where they can see the request and approve the request as well so first of all let's click on uh, new and and we will click on uh, here site so to create a new site and we will keep uh, a travel reimbursement so travel reimbursement we will keep it display name will be travel reimbursement only travel reimbursement and uh, okay so it is saying travel reimbursements okay and description is to uh, a site for the user to sub to submit form so we have click we have created a site now let's click on create uh, we will keep the default access only for the site as well okay and let's click on save and now it will open the site in a new window so here what we have what we will how we will add our values we will see how to add values in our site so this is the interface for the site and if you see here this is the display name if we want to give some dynamics so we can write something as expression fine for now it is fine these are the pages where we will configure the pages as well and this is the preview window whatever the settings we are going to do it will uh, show us the preview as well so let's try to add our pages here so let's try to add our first page and we will uh, first page is travel reimbursement reimburse travel reimbursement okay and it is since travel is there we can add some symbol like a uh, uh, icon we can put it as car or something else okay let's put it car only so you can see a lot of cars are visible here let's try to put a simple one hmm. so uh, since we have used a process start form in our process model we can configure the the process model as well directly we can refer the process model as an action here so if you see here there are different types action you can add it interface you can add it but the problem is like with interface there should be no rule inputs a record list is there and reports are there so first of all we will configure the action in our site so it is saying select a process model with sell start form so yes do we do have a process model which has start form process start form is there for that so what is our process model name tr travel reimbursement so we will configure tr travel okay so it is tr travel reimbursement process model is there let's try to select that and let's try to click on okay now we have clicked on okay so and let's see the changes in our site we will click on this uh, link of the site and it will show us how it will look from the site and we can uh, it's a kind of application you can say it's already made so here we can submit the form all the details we can directly submit from here as well okay so that part is done so here you can see like if you want to here there is one option if you want to display the site name as well you can display it let's try to display that as well let's click on save changes okay and we will uh, ref refresh the our site so that changes that site name will show here as well so you can see here travel reimbursement is there travel reimbursement is there two times we don't want a two times for that for the hr we will keep it for this it is not required since already it is present okay so we will not put it and if we want the input button saves to be semi-rounded or something like that we can save from here okay so now our data is site is well configured let's try to save the changes now we will save all our changes let's refresh and try to fill the form once and we'll see whether it actually works or not okay so our site is there that site name has gone and we'll put some random rack of ideas uh, employee ideas one two three four five six okay and name we will put if you see it is all become a kind of semi rounded shape it has become now we will put something as a potter p 
something like this we have named here so your porter at the rate email.com okay phone number let's put any random phone number and here they have done with client meeting so client meeting okay and for which date they have done that let's put on 16th they have done it and total cost incurred was uh, let's see a uh, total cost incurred was around more than 1000 so we will put something as 1200 okay so 1200 we and we can put on submit so this this in this way like we can submit the application you can see every field has become null and to open the instance there is a button here called process instance from there as well we can open all the instances so if you go to process and you click on just all instances it will say all the instances and you can see here our process has now went into which flow amount is greater than 1000 okay so here the HR can either approve it or reject it so this is for our user side now let's we will create a HR site as well where the HR can see all uh, these a uh, record list as well and all the details as well so TR HR site okay so display name will be HR approval we will put it okay uh, put a description a site for the HR approval okay let's create it our site is ready so in our in this site like uh, this is the HR site so we have made it here and we will add the same so HR uh, site like these pages are there in that we will add more so we will show this as well so it will see here HR approval it will show like this it will be also semi rounded and this will be also semi rounded after that what we want to do is we will add the reimbursement form uh, for the HR as well so same form can be added for the HR as well and after that we will add a record list so here also we will add a reimbursement or we can say travel uh, reimbursement travel reimburse travel reimbursement okay and we can select the icon here as well so let's select something as car okay and the same uh, interface we want tr travel reimbursement process model okay and we'll click on okay so our hr site is fine so it is almost identical to the user site that we have just created but there is one more thing like now what we will do is we will configure the record list so the HR should be able to see all the requests that has been approved or rejected whatever the details are there they should be able to see everything so now we are going to create a record list so even if you see in the site as well there is an option of a record list so we will try to configure our record list uh, we will create a entity backed record uh, and we from the database every detail will be reflected in our site so here you can see here there is tr so if we go to expense details this is our uh, record only two entries have been made there okay both are hr approved is there so what we will do is we have to create record so that the same data we can see in the record so to create a record we'll go to the new and the record type is there okay so travel reimbursement reimbursement record will name it okay uh, let's make it rim b u r s e reimbursement records description fine let's leave it let's create a record once we have we will keep the uh, default setting for this as well once our record type is done what we want is we have to select first of all like what kind of a record it is okay so what kind of a record it, it gets determined from here so let's go to the tell us about your data if we want to make a entity back record database will be selected for process back record process will be selected and for a service back record web service will be selected we are going to create a data entity back record let's click on next okay and let's keep the sync on only 
uh, no need to disable it and ha, here we have to search our database table so what is the table of our database tr expense detail let's search it tr expense something like this and it will show us the preview as well whether it is the correct table or not so yeah it is the correct table so we'll click on next okay and let's click on next all these values are fine we will configure the values later let's finish the uh, record for now let's save our changes okay so now our record is ready we have to configure a lot of things in the record as well like list user filters or views whatever we want but first of all let's refer it here so that we can see how our record looks so here we will go for a uh, record or records just write it okay and here we will put it something as list so kind of list icon will appear now okay let's put it like this one and in the here record list and what is our record list name tr travel reimbursement record so tr travel reimbursement record is there and we will select it so first of all like uh, uh, HR should be able to see the record first then they can see the travel reimbursement okay let's save our changes and let's go to the HR approval site so this was our uh, user approval this is how our user approval site looks. just a simple form nothing else and this is how our HR approval site looks for now so this is the record they would be able to see all the data here description if they have put uh, okay we will edit the data later and this is the travel reimbursement for now okay so that's all in this video we will configure the record list in next video thank you